Shalom, shalom. Shalom. We are the Hebrew Israelites bringing out the truth of the Bible and the sure destruction of what you know as the United States of America for right now. The Most High God has a sharp judgment. He's going to bring the United States and he's going to bring his people, the so-called blacks, Hispanics, and Native Americans, the true Israelites of the Bible, back into the Holy Land and shut down all these wicked nations, keeping them under captivity. We're going to go to Matthew chapter 24. It's another Sabbath day in which people have the chance to repent and keep the commandments, and yet they don't want to do it. So the Most High is going to destroy them, whether you like it or not. This is Matthew chapter 24, verse 37. But as the days of Noah were, so shall also the coming of the Son of Man be. And who's the Son of Man? Who the world ignorantly calls Jesus Christ, Yahweh Shai. For as in the days that were before the flood, they were eating and drinking, marrying and giving in marriage, until the day that Noah entered into the ark, and knew not until the flood came and took them all away. So shall also the coming of the Son of Man be. Whenever the Most High God sends the sun back, it's going to be just like in the days of Noah. Whenever the Most High God brought the truth of the Bible in your face and you wanted to reject it, you are going to have no excuses whenever he brings that judgment on you. And again, this salvation is only for the nation of Israel, the so-called blacks, Hispanics, and Native Americans, the true Israelites of the Bible as well as the Israelites scattered across the four corners of the earth. We're going into 2nd Ezra, the 15th chapter, and the first verse. Behold, speak thou in the ears of my people the words of prophecy, which I will put in thy mouth, saith Yehowah, and cause them to be written in paper, for they are faithful and true. The words of the Most High God are truly faithful and true. And if you don't like it, if you want to put your faith in the United States of America, if you want to be a proud American, I hope America can save you on that day of judgment. Fear not the imaginations against thee, let not the incredulity of them trouble thee, that speak against thee. For all the unfaithful shall die in their unfaithfulness. The Most High God is going to do a lot of killing on that day of judgment. Again, there is a time in which you can repent and yet you don't want to do it. If you don't want to do it, the Most High God is going to strike you down and put you to death. This is verse 24 in 2nd Ezra, the 15th chapter. Woe unto them that keep not my commandments, saith Yahweh, I will not spare them. Go your way, ye children from the power, defile not my sanctuary. The Most High God is not dealing with you if you don't want to keep his commandments. The Most High God is going to destroy you. He's going to mark you for judgment if you don't want to keep his commandments. If you want to keep on running around, breaking the Sabbath, the Most High God has a sure destruction for you, whether you like it or not. Again, all you proud Americans out here can keep on breaking the laws if you want to. The Most High is going to destroy you. You so-called Blacks, Hispanics, and Native Americans better come back to the fold before it's too late, before the Most High God marks you with that judgment. This is Amos, the ninth chapter. And the eighth verse. Behold, the eyes of the Ottawan, Yahweh, are upon the sinful kingdom, and I will destroy it from off the face of the earth, saving that I will not utterly destroy the house of Jacob, saith Yahweh. The Most High God is not going to completely destroy all the Israelites. He has a righteous remnant that he's going to keep, but the wicked of them are going to be destroyed. For lo, I will command and I will sift the house of Israel among all nations like as corn is sifted in a seed, yet shall not the least grain fall upon the earth. All the sinners of my people shall die by the sword, which say the evil shall not overtake nor prevent us. All you Israelites, you so-called blacks, Hispanics, and Native Americans that think, that think things are sweet, that think nothing evil is going to come to you, that think you're safe, the Most High God is going to destroy you. Again, verse 10. All the sinners of my people shall die by the sword, which say the evil shall not overtake nor prevent us. This is Jeremiah chapter 6 and verse 30.
Jeremiah chapter 6 and verse 30. Reprobate silver shall men call them, because Yahweh hath rejected them. If you don't want to keep the Most High God's commandments, the Most High God is rejecting you. You have been rejected by the Most High. You better come back to the, hey. Y'all better come back to the commandments of the Most High God before it's too late out here. Your time is running short, you so-called Blacks, Hispanics, and Native Americans. You better come back before it's too late. Again, reprobate silver shall men call them, because Yahweh hath rejected them. If you want to be rejected, that's okay, because the nation of Israel, the elect, of course, the nation of Israel, are going to be righteous, not wicked. There's not going to be any wickedness in the kingdom of heaven. That is going to be blotted out of the earth. It's Jeremiah chapter 15, verse 6. Jeremiah chapter 15 and verse 6. Thou hast forsaken me, saith Yahweh. Thou art gone backward, therefore will I stretch out my hand against thee and destroy thee. I am weary with repenting, and I will fan them with a fan in the gates of the land. I will bereave them of children. I will destroy my people since they return not from their ways. If you don't want to return from your wicked ways, the Most High God is going to use you like some dust, and he's going to fan you, and you're going to be destroyed. You're going to be cast out into the earth. All right. Here, still right here. We're gonna go to Isaiah chapter 57. This is Isaiah chapter 57 and verse 1. The righteous perisheth, and no man layeth it to heart, and merciful men are taken away. None considering that the righteous is taken away from the evil to come. And there is evil that is coming on the face of the earth. And if you don't like it, you better take it up with the Most High God. The righteous have been taken away, and the righteous have been sealed. They've walked their path. they finished their course, and they will be rewarded. But the wicked are going to be destroyed. He shall enter into peace. They shall rest in their beds, each one walking in his uprightness. The righteous have finished their course and they're going to continue to walk in their uprightness but the wicked that didn't want to walk with the most high god whenever they had a chance are going to be destroyed but draw near hither ye sons of the sorceresses the seed of the adulterer and the whore against whom do you sport yourselves against whom make ye a wide mouth and dry out the tongue are ye not children of transgression of seed of falsehood and if you don't want to keep the commandments of the most high god you want to trust in your transgression then you are a seed of falsehood you are wicked the most high god has something for you and flaming yourselves with idols under every green tree slaying the children in the valleys under the cliffs of the rocks isaiah chapter 59 verse 18 according to their deeds Accordingly, he will repay fury to his adversaries, recompense to his enemies. The Most High God is going to recompense his enemies. He's going to bring revenge on his enemies, the ones that don't love him, the ones that don't want to keep his commandments. The Most High God is going to render fury on you. To the islands, he will repay recompense. So, Shall they fear the name of Yahweh from the west, even his sorry, and his glory from the rising of the sun? When the enemy shall come in like a flood, the spirit of Yahweh shall lift up a standard against them. And what is that standard? The way of living, the way of truth, the laws of the Most High God. You know the ones that you break right now. And the Redeemer shall come to Zion, and unto them that turn from transgression in Jacob, saith Yahweh. The Redeemer, who the world ignorantly calls Jesus Christ, Yahweh Shai, Hamashiach, is going to come to those that repent. 
that turn from the transgression in Zion, the ones amongst the nation of Israel. As for me, this is my covenant with them. Who is the them? The nation of Israel, the so-called blacks, Hispanics, and Native Americans. As for me, this is my covenant with them, saith Yahweh, my spirit that is upon me, sorry, that is upon thee, and my words which I have put in thy mouth shall not depart out of thy mouth, nor out of the mouth of thy seed, nor out of the mouth of thy seed's seed, saith Yahweh, from henceforth and forever. There's no new gospel being brought on the face of the earth. The nation of Israel, the so-called blacks, Hispanics, and Native Americans are the true children of God. And the wicked of them are going to be destroyed. The righteous are going to be found blameless in that day of the Lord. And they're going to be reigning over the kingdom of heaven, spearheaded by our king, Yahweh Shai, Hamashiach, who the world ignorantly calls Jesus Christ. The one that, they, that you think is going to be handing out daisies and roses is going to be the same one that's going to be putting a sword to your chest. This is Isaiah chapter 60 and verse number 1. Arise, shine, for thy light is come, and the glory of Yahweh has risen upon thee. For behold, the darkness shall cover the earth, and gross darkness the people. But Yahweh shall arise upon thee, and his glory shall be seen upon thee. And the Gentiles shall come to thy light, and kings to the brightness of thy rising. We're going to skip to verse 14. The sons also of them that afflicted thee shall come bending unto thee. You so-called blacks, Hispanics, and Native Americans, if you actually want these other nations to be bowing down to you under the rulership of our king, Yahweh Shai Mashiach, who the world ignorantly calls Jesus Christ, who the world ignorantly thinks Jesus Christos Blanco, if you actually want that, then you better come back to the ways of the Most High God. You better get to keeping the commandments or there's going to be a sure destruction on you. Again, the sons also of them that afflicted thee shall come bending unto thee, and all they that despise thee shall bow themselves down at the soles of thy feet, and they shall call thee the city of Yahweh, the Zion of the Holy One of Israel. The Most High God's chosen people, the Israelites, are going to be glorified in that day. Why? Because of the mercy of the Most High God, Yahweh. Let me see here. We're going to skip back up to verse 10. This is Isaiah chapter 16 and verse 10. And the sons of strangers shall build up thy walls, and their kings shall minister unto thee. For in my wrath I smote thee, but in my favor have I had mercy on thee. If you want to keep the commandments of the Most High God, if you actually want to repent and come back to the Lord, then he will have mercy on you. But if you don't want to do it, you don't want to keep on breaking the Sabbath day, you don't want to keep, you don't want to stop buying and selling on the Sabbath. You don't want to stop eating pork. You don't want to stop keeping these pagan holidays. You don't want to stop keeping Thanksgiving and Christmas and Halloween and all this other madness. The Most High God is going to kill you and have no mercy on you whatsoever. He's going to draw that sword and bring a destruction on you. And there's going to be a missile with your name on it. This is Isaiah chapter 34. Isaiah 34 and verse 1. Come near, ye nations, to hear and hearken. Ye people, let the earth hear and all that is therein, the world and all things that come forth from it. For the indignation of Yahweh is upon all nations and his fury upon all their armies. All these armies that are getting built up, North Korea, South Korea, the United States, Russia, China, the UK, Ukraine, Israel, Iran, all these countries are going to be getting destroyed in that beautiful day of the Most High God. Specifically, the United States of America and all its inhabitants that don't want to turn towards the Lord. For the indignation of Yahweh is upon all nations and his fury upon all their armies. He hath utterly 
destroyed them. He hath delivered them to the slaughter. Their slain also shall be cast out, and their stink shall come up out of their carcasses, and the mountains shall be melted with their blood. And all the hosts of heaven shall be dissolved, and the heavens shall be rolled together as a scroll. And what is that scroll? The mushroom cloud. You know, the same ones the United States dropped on Hiroshima and Nagasaki. Those same things, those same things are coming to the United States of America. For my sword shall be bathed in heaven. Behold, it shall come upon, so it shall come down upon Idumea, upon the people of my curse to judgment. People say only God can judge me, but understand this. The Most High God is going to judge you. Let's go to Isaiah chapter 66 to see how the Most High God is going to judge you. <clears throat> Isaiah chapter 66 and verse 15. For behold, Yahweh will come with fire and with his chariots like a whirlwind to render his anger with fury and his rebuke with flames of fire. For by fire and by his sword will Yahweh plead with all flesh, and the slain of Yahweh shall be many. The slain of the Most High God, the casualties of the Most High God are going to be many, innumerable, an astounding amount of death is going to fall upon the earth by way of the Most High God, Yahweh. Again, verse 16 in Isaiah 66, for by fire and by his sword will Yahweh plead with all flesh and the slain of Yahweh shall be many. We're gonna go to Deuteronomy chapter 32. Deuteronomy chapter 32 and verse 41. If I wet my glittering sword, matter of fact, verse 39. See now that I, even I, am he, and there is no God with me. I kill and I make it lie. I wound and I heal. Neither is there any that can deliver out of my hand. If you think you have an escape plan, if you think that there's some type of underground bunker that you're gonna be able to escape to, if the Most High God is marching for judgment, guess what, there's nobody, there's nothing that's gonna be able to deliver you in that day. Verse 41, if I wet my glittering sword and mine hand take hold on judgment, I will render vengeance to my enemies and will, and will reward them that hate me. I will make my arrows drunk with blood and my sword shall devour flesh and that with the blood of the slain and of the captives from the beginning of revenge upon the enemy. And who was the enemy? The ones that hate God, the ones that don't want to keep his commandments, the disobedient, the wicked, the idolaters. Rejoice, O ye nations, with his people. All the nations in which the nation of Israel has been scattered to, you better rejoice, all you proud Americans, Keep on rejoicing and yucking it up while you can. Rejoice, O ye nations, with his people. For I will avenge the blood of his servants and will, and will render vengeance to his adversaries and will be merciful unto his land and to his people. The Most High God is going to have mercy on his people. But the wicked, the other nations, the Edomites, you Moabites, you Hamites, the Most High God is going to render judgment on you. We're going to go to Psalms 139. This is Psalm 149. Psalm 
Psalm 149 and verse 4. For Yahweh taketh pleasure in his people, he will beautify the meek with salvation. The Most High God is going to beautify the meek, not the wicked, not the rebellious, not the proud. He will beautify the meek with salvation. Let the saints be joyful in glory. Let them sing aloud upon their beds. Let the high praises of God be in their mouth and a two-edged sword in their hand to execute vengeance upon the heathen and punishments upon the people. The Most High God's chosen people, the saints, are going to be rendering judgment and vengeance under his authority. This is Psalm 140, 140's, 147 and verse 19. He showed his word unto Jacob, his statutes and his judgments unto Israel. All the so-called Blacks, Hispanics, and Native Americans, the Israelites of the Bible, understand the judgments of the Most High God. Anybody got a minute for the word of the Lord? Got a minute for one verse? Hey, can I read you a verse? Go ahead. What is it, Jeremiah? Go ahead, what, what, what you were saying though, brother. Yeah, for sure. I'm listening. I'm gonna read you a verse real quick, bro. All right. Because in case you didn't know it, so-called blacks, Hispanics, and Native Americans are the Israelites of the Bible. My dad he, is white. He's white? Your father is a white man. What's, what's his father? White. His, okay. Well, check this out. If you're a so-called white man, more than likely, you would go back to Esau. Your biological father is white? Yeah. Yeah. It is what it is, man. You'll go back to Esau. I'm going to read. What does that mean? Can I go to heaven? Can you go to heaven? Yeah, you can go to heaven. I'll show you exactly what's going to happen to the other nations. And check this out. Just because uh, he might look like a white man doesn't mean he's uh, an Edomite, okay? But by and large, the Edomites are so called white people. All right? But I'm going to show you exactly what's going to happen to the other nations in heaven, all right? Isaiah chapter 14 and verse 1. Who do you follow? The Most High. For Yahweh will have mercy on Jacob and will yet choose Israel. The Most High didn't say he's going to choose the Edomites. He didn't say he's going to choose the Moabites. He's not going to choose the Girgashites, the Hamites, nobody else. And will yet choose Israel and set them in their own land. And the strangers, the other nations, the strangers shall be joined with them. So the yeah, other everybody's nations, going to heaven, bro. So the other nations are going to be in the kingdom of heaven. But what are they going to be doing in the kingdom of heaven? They're going to be with them. Yes, they are going to be with them. And the strangers shall be joined with them, and they shall cleave to the house of Jacob. What does that mean? Go. Let me keep on reading real quick. So I want to what tell is you. It cleave. To me? Cleave. That means hold on to. Or take hold of. And the people, the strangers, and the people shall take them. Oh, sorry. Not the strangers, the nation of Israel, and the people shall take them and bring them to their place. And the house of Israel shall possess them in the land of Yahweh for servants and handmaids, and they shall take them captives. Well, that's the Old Testament. Do you, you think that something changed in the New Testament? No, King David had already enslaved all the nations. All the nations? King Solomon, King David. They enslaved them? Yeah. Can you prove that? Verse you have to prove it, man. You gotta read. Um, you read First and Second Kings. Oh, real quick. I understand First and Second Kings. Have I you read the, the entirety of First and Second Kings? I've read the entirety of the Bible. Okay. Now I want to show you this real quick because if you assume that, because this, because you said that King David already enslaved all the nations. Yeah. This is Isaiah. This is way after King David and King Solomon. So that wouldn't work. So we have to deal with chronology. So you'd have to you have to find something else. It's, tough. it's not tough. It's easy. You just have to believe what the Bible says. Say so again. Yeah. So we gonna be slaves. To so-called black spirit. The Israelites of the Bible are not gonna be slaves in the kingdom of heaven. Why? Again. And the people shall take so like them. Like indentured servants, like indentured in Deuteronomy. Servants. No. So. Because you know I'm, you I'm gonna show you something take real quick. somebody huh? and make them be a servant for seven years. That and after say, seven years, you gotta let him go. 
I'm gonna read you something real quick. Because in Revelation. Revelation it says every every nation is gonna have their own land. Uh, so the nation every of Israel is gonna have its own. Come up to the, to the mountain of Israel uh -huh. for the times of year. That What's gonna happen to them? No rain. Okay, so. So everybody's gonna have their own kingdom. No, no, there's gonna be one kingdom over the earth. I'm, I'm a, oh. Let me get to one point. So why are they Wait, leaving? you're asking like a thousand questions. Let me get to one point. Let's take care of this one by one. Well, well, why are they leaving to come to that one kingdom? Come, because in the in the Balah, you have to actually go to Jerusalem three times a year exactly. to keep the holy days. So they aren't in Jerusalem. Therefore, they are slaves. They're going to be slaves. But there's a one thousand there's a one thousand year uh, reign that's going to be happening We're not before they be get. Slaves that's okay. Nobody said that. I didn't say you're going to be saved what forever. I'm saying. I probably going to sleep for a thousand years. Well, hold, let me read this real quick. You're saying a lot of stuff, but you don't have your Bible out. So let me read but this real quick. Can you read Jeremiah 8? I'm going to read this real quick. All right. Read that, then read Jeremiah 8. 8, 8 verse 8. Okay, no doubt. Yeah. This is Revelation 18 and verse 6. Reward her even as she rewarded you, and double unto her, double according, according to, to Exactly. So what, what does I that do? mean? So what, what did I do? No, what, did, what does that mean? Is what the question. What does that mean? I want you to break that down. Well, whatever she's done, her being Babylon, whatever she's done, she's going to get double. Okay, there you now, go. What did I do? What did you do? What do you mean? Why would I get double? What did I do? Well, I'm going to read it real quick. Let me see here. This is Isaiah 14 and 21. Prepare slaughter for his children for the iniquity of of their fathers you didn't have to do anything God your said, fathers so you asked me a question you. and i can't even what he said he won't judge you for what your parents well this is did. what the most high god said right here is no, the I'm most saying, high contradicting saying, himself saying, if you do the sin of your father uh-huh then you will be judged for the sins of your father but if you don't do the sins of your father you will be quitted okay well Make that's sense. pertaining to the israelites this has nothing to do with the israelites well says, how does that only pertain to y'all because if you're an Israelite and you actually keep the law, then you're not going to be judged by that. You're going to be under the curses, right. nonetheless. When without the Israelites oh, left... Wait, you're just saying a lot, but again, let me go... You wait, what was your point? What was your point? But I'm establishing a counterpoint. What's your counterpoint? When go the ahead. Israelites left for Egypt, hmm? who all left with them? The nation of Israel and uh, some of the uh, some of the Egyptians. Who else? I don't know who else. There's other nations with them, right? Who? I'm trying to figure out what other nations they were because they left out of Egypt. I don't know about right, the other nations you're talking about. There's a law. Like, why, why aren't you pulling out your Bible, man? There's a law for Moab. A law for Moab? Bible, there's a prophecy carry, against I don't have Moab. To carry my script. Christ said, don't carry your script. He also said, carry your script. There's a law for how many Moabites and how long before they can join the congregation. They can never join the congregation. And there's a law for Edomites uh -huh. before they can join the congregation. Yes. Yeah, Edomites can join the congregation. Exactly. At a point. But what does that have to do with anything? So what are you talking about? Let me read this for you. You sitting there tripping on something that you can't I'm even trying to figure happen. out what your point is. You can't make none of that stuff happen, bro. Of course we can. We have to wait for the most high That's to do what that. I'm talking about. That's so what's your point? point? About. Brother, what is your point? That's what when I want to know. Paul was preaching, was he doing it in secret? Paul was preaching in secret? Is that your question? Is he preaching in secret? You no. The whole, all right. Now let me find that verse, bro. Sure, go ahead. But read Jeremiah 8, verse 8. Yeah, for sure. I'm really trying to figure out what your point is, brother, but let me get to Jeremiah chapter 8 and verse 8. Whenever I read this, I want you to break this down for me, okay? All right. How do ye say we are wise and the law of Yahweh is with us? Lo, certainly in vain made he it. The pen of the scribes is in vain. Read it slow, the wise read men. It slow. Read it slow. Now I want to read through the whole thing. I'm gonna read it very slow, and I want you to break this down for me, okay? Go ahead. So, how do ye say we are wise? So this is a, this is what I'm asking. This mm -hmm. is what Jeremiah is asking. You Israelites, right? Yeah. The Bible is written to the Israelites. Yeah. The Old Testament is written to the Israelites. By the Israelites. How do you say you are wise? This is a prophet of the Israelites speaking to the Israelites. Correct. How do you say you Israelites are wise? Go You're ahead. taking this I'm out just of context. In the context. I'm. I'm wait. Let me keep on reading. The, the context what? is he's speaking to the Israelites. Correct. But what's the actual context? Of you'll course he's speaking reading. to the Israelites, but what is he talking about? You'll keep reading, bro. Okay, cool. How do ye say we are wise and the law of Yahweh is with us? How do what you does that say mean? the law is with you? What do you mean? What's, what, are you, what are you saying about that? 
I'm trying to figure it out. God? Yeah, what are you saying? How are they, how, how can you say you are wise in the laws? What is the wisdom of the Israelites? Number one, let's see if you. The wisdom the Most High God gave the nation of Israel. What What is the wisdom? The laws of the Most High, the commandments, okay. yes. So he's saying, how do you say you are wise? Uh -huh. He say you have the law, which is your wisdom. Go ahead. Lo, certainly in vain make you it. In what? In what? In certainly what? In, in vain make you it. What does vain mean? Vain, it means nothing. For nothing the law was made. So you're saying the law means nothing. Is that what you're saying? I know, no, no, don't do that. What are you saying, brother? I wanted you to explain it. Break it down. No, break it. Stand on your word, brother. Hey, stand on your word. Break it down. I wanted you to explain it like I'm a baby. Break it down to me. What are you saying? I just did. Explain it to me. Vain, gang. You're saying vain. What is vain? What is vain mean? What is vain? I just asked you to According to the verse, what is vain? That's crazy. What is crazy? I want you to explain it to me. You told me to go to a verse and you're not trying to explain it. Why don't you read it and then explain it to me? You said, Lo, certainly in vain made he it. Made what? Read the first verse. No, I want you to read it, brother. You wanted to go here. Yeah. I'm assuming you're establishing a point right here. I want you to tell me what is vain be... according to the verse. Uh, what's the word? We're supposed to be scholars. Rightfully divided the word, bro. Yeah, for sure. I want you to You're break this down. To study to show yourself approved to be able to rightly divide the word. Bro. I'm trying to figure out why you just can't tell me what is vain according to the verse. You should have worked in there. The guy said you were working there. I need a fit for the car. The two guys there. So you got my one piece? I'm just talking about the Bible. I don't know. Sorry about that. Because you just just my paid this. Make sure you scan the camera. I paid the scanner down and the stuff was here. You did? Yeah, I did it. I don't mind. Thank you, man. Hey, hey, brother, brother. Hey, check this out. Go so called Black, Hispanic, and Native Americans and Israelites repent and keep the commandments, brother. I'll tell you there. Go play to me. Hey, did y'all call the police? God bless. Good, so. I want you to break this one down to me. Because I'm assuming, if I'm wrong, correct me, that you're saying that the law was made in vain. Is that what you're saying? Yeah. It was made in vain. Okay. So break this down for me. Psalm 119 and 142. Thy righteousness is an everlasting righteousness. So you're going to contradict the Bible and thy, with another verse. You're saying that the law is made in vain. Is that what That's you're saying? That's what Jeremiah 8 and 8 just said. You don't understand the context. The reason why you're saying the law is made in vain is because the Israelites were not keeping it. You understand that? Why would you make a law if somebody's not going to follow it? That's what he's saying. Because the Israelites were in wickedness. Now let me go to Amos. The you didn't even chapter. read the rest of the verse, bro. I didn't need to. You cut me off. That's crazy, bro. So can so I read it? Can I read it before read you cut me off? Thank you. Thy righteousness no, is Jeremiah 8 and 8. Bro, you're tripping right now, bro. You're tripping right now. The righteousness is an everlasting righteousness. This is not Jeremiah. I went to Psalms. Hold up. You, you, bro, you gotta calm down. To you gotta go calm down. Psalms. You need to calm down. I'm trying to read this and you keep on cutting me off. You cut off Jeremiah, bro. Brother, I read it like twice. You didn't read the whole verse. Look, I'm about to read this. I'll go right back to Jeremiah. Is that okay with you? That's crazy. Is bro. that okay with you? Bro, that is semantics, bro. You know what semantics is? with the point. Bro, you're playing games right you now, man. You, you're really playing games. And I don't believe that your father's your father's wife. He is though. Alright, bro. Whatever you say. Alright, no doubt. I'm gonna go to you play bro. games, bro. Look at my skin, bro. Alright, for sure. Maybe it's why it is, but it's like. Alright, what was it? Jeremiah 8 and 8? Yes, bro. That's crazy. Brother, you prideful, man. You gotta calm down, man. Jeremiah chapter 8, verse 8. Alright, here we go. I'm tripping. I told you to read it, man. Go ahead and read it. How do you say we are wise? In the law of the Lord is with us. Most certainly. In vain may he it. The pen of the scribes is in vain. So what does that mean? It means for no purpose. Go ask for no purpose. All right, good. All right, so I'm going to go to the words of who the world called Jesus Christ is, okay? I'm going to go to the words of Christ. And you tell me if you disagree, all right? This is Matthew chapter 19 and verse 16. I hope you're listening, bro. These are the words of Jesus Christ, okay? Yes. All right. And behold, one came and said unto him, Good master, what good thing shall I do that I may have eternal life? And he said unto him, Why callest thou me good? There is none good but one, that is God. But if thou wilt enter into life, again, what are the laws? You said they're vain? They're made in vain. They're made in vain.
We made in vain. All right. Right there. If thou wilt enter into life, keep the commandments. So are the commandments made in vain, even if Christ told you to keep them? Yes or no? So, Ain't no so. No, no, no. Don't do that. Go ahead, just answer the question, and then you can bring out any verse you need to. The same one you said that were made in vain, right? In Egypt, right? In Egypt, no. Moses was an Egyptian. You said what? Moses was an Egyptian. He was an Egyptian? Is that what you're saying? He's not an Egyptian. He was not an Egyptian. All right, he's an Israelite from the tribe of Levi. Were you raised in Israel? No. So you are a? I'm an Israelite. You're an American. American. You proclaim yourself. So man. understand this. Just because your your geographical locale does not determine who you came from, That's the true. seed you come That's from. True. So why you keep on saying Moses was an Egyptian? But your cultural practices and your beliefs they come from an American standpoint of you because that's where you're born. Uh, that's, that's not 100 percent correct. Americans you have Chinese people brain. that come over here and they keep the culture uh, of uh, whatever they did in China. You have East some Indians that did the same things. Sure, but some of them, but not all of them. But eventually, through colonialism, their mind is colonized and then they become. It is what it is. American. And that's okay. But what's your point? I'm saying he became an Egyptian. He became an Egyptian. Okay, whenever he left Egypt, what was he, what was he then? In he the wilderness, what was he? Ruler of the Israelites through Egyptian philosophy. What do you believe? Christ went to Egypt. I want to know what you believe. To the leader of so the you don't believe. You need to keep the commandments and repent. Okay, that's what you need to do. I already know what you're going into right now, bro. Not. No, we're not dealing with. You. I'm not dealing with what you're dealing with, bro. Straight up and down. No, I, now, do you know what the council of Nicaea is? Who is writing that shit down on the council of Nicaea? Writing what? Tell me. Writing down what? Writing what? What books? What books? What books? Oh, with what books? What books? Go ahead. Bible. The Bible, that's wrong. That's completely incorrect. The Bible was not written in the Council of Nicaea, okay? The Bible they was written organized. way before then. It was written in Hebrew, Greek, and Latin. The Council of Nicaea happened in 300 AD. You understand that? So check this out. No, nope, they didn't take anything out. And the 16 religion, the what? and they gave they took the they took the writings from the conquered religion the and conquered reformed religion. their religion. That's a lie. That's a lie, brother. Okay? Yeah, that's no, that's a complete lie. Understand this. So what you need to do is the pancake commandments. I don't believe you read the entire Bible at all, or else you wouldn't be saying any of this. What you need to do is you need to pick one thing, stand on one thing, and quit getting confused. Because right now you're confused. I'll break one least of those commandments. Yeah. What happened? You're going to be least in the kingdom of heaven. Well, okay. How come y'all don't have business? Ben, what do you mean? There are plenty of so Israelites for businesses. All of the Israelites, these two, you know, poor homeless. Now okay. I'm homeless. When I was homeless being targeted by the government, IUIC denied me entry oh, into their okay. building. I'm not talking about IUIC right three now. Three different times. Denied you entry into what? I was asking them for help. Huh? And they denied me three times and a lot of people died because of this. Well, I'm sorry about that. I can't speak for IUIC. Three times they denied me. Kyrie Irving said he boosted Negroes and all that shit. They showed up a million man march. But when I needed help and I was a poor brother amongst them, they denied me three fucking times. So y'all really? would say y'all better than people and you would tell me to go keep the commandments. But I had a fucking lawnmower business that if you was homeless or poor, and I didn't believe in that shit, I wasn't reading that shit every day, I would give you something to sustain yourself out of the kindness of my heart, without the law. I was fulfilling the deeds of the law without the law, which is written in Jeremiah. Look, but you uh, would say, I need to go keep the commandments, but you don't keep that commandment, because if you did, you would be fucked up like me. You get what I'm saying? I understand Y'all exactly. not doing the commandments, bro. Because if you did, hey, stop. you would be persecuted, stop. bro. Stop. You're doing too I much. I swear to God. Hey, check this out. Understand I this. Swear to God. Are you listening right now? Well, this is a, if this is a conversation, right? then we can both speak. Is that fair? Is you that can, okay? You can talk. Check this out. I don't speak. I'm not in IUIC. You understand that? I'm telling you. So I don't know what they did. And I'm not worried the about what they did. You will be persecuted, bro. 
What are you talking about? You will be persecuted if you keep all the commandments. Brother, look, I'm a, are you ready to listen? You not hear what I just said. I just said. heard what you just said. Are you ready to listen? What? Go ahead, bro. All right, for sure. Uh, I apologize for what IRC may have done, but I'm not going to be a false witness because I don't know what happened. You understand? Yes, sir. Is that fair? That's fair. Okay, for sure. I'm going to read a commandment real quick to substantiate that, all right? We're going to go to Exodus chapter 23. Exodus 23 and 1. Thou shalt not raise a false report, put not thine hand with the wicked to be an unrighteous witness. So I don't care what they did, all right? I apologize if that happened to you. It is what it is, man. All right? If he was asking me for it, can I, can, I, can I finish reading, bro? All right, can I finish speaking? Pardon me. If you needed some bread right now, I'll break you off whatever I have, you know? And it is what it is. Even if you're coming at me crazy right now and you're interrupting this lesson right here, all right? But nonetheless, what? After this verse. No, I'm not about to go into Hebrews 12 for I might do that later, okay? But I'm do trying you know to. About, about that verse. You keep on cutting me off. What's up with you, bro? Do you know that verse? You keep on cutting me off, you man. Want what's to spark? What? You want to spark? Spar. Yeah. I'm out here to do the work of the Lord, okay? I'm not out here to spar with anybody. You understand that? Okay, we'll just read Hebrews 12 and 4. I'll do that later, okay? But you keep on cutting me off, bro. I'll let you speak for like five minutes. After this verse, it was just a, okay, sure. After the verse, I'll do that later, okay? Just uh, for sure. I'll do that wow, later. Bro. Bro, why do you gotta go up the block? Because I gotta go get some more money. Well, check this out, man. Look, what I need to tell you is that if you're an Israelite, keep the commandments and keep the faith in Yahweh Shah. Yes, you said, that, I don't know what you we was talking about where Christ was teaching the ways of the Egyptians. I don't know where that came from. But understand saying, this, that's wrong. Keep going to the Egyptians and they're reaching enlightenment and they're coming back to us. I don't know what you meant by my enlightenment. All I know is that Christ was Moses in the wilderness for 40 days and 40 nights. When he was amongst the Egyptians. Christ reached enlightenment when if you got so long, bro, dang, that's crazy, man. Hey, ch again, just uh, just uh, I'm gonna hope for the best for you, man. All right. Just if you want to be, yeah, let me pull it out for you real quick. All right. That's really my last verse. This is what I'm gonna tell you. Hebrews 12 and 4. Let me tell you this verse. And we're gonna tell me Edomites are going to hell. I didn't say. Did I say hell? What did I say? You over here lying on me now, bro. Say Edomites is going into slavery. Yeah. That's what the Bible says. And y'all say they ain't got no That's what the, the Bible says that Edomites are going into slavery, done, yes. But in the fucking, in the fucking... See, but the truth is that you don't believe in the Bible, man. You don't believe the Bible, bro. If you did, you wouldn't be having any issue with the Most High saying that the Edomites are going into but slavery. But in the Torah, it say... The Edomites are going into slavery in the... Yeah, the Edomites are going into slavery in the Torah. It takes 10 generations to enter into the congregation. How many generations does it take for an Edomite to enter the congregation? 10 generations. Three. Did it say that? Yes. No. So it means an Edomite can get in a congregation before me. What did you say you were? It don't matter. Oh, okay. yeah, of course. What was the What was the verse again? I know the nigga, so how would I know? What was the verse again? You look white. Bro, what was the verse? Thank you. Pardon me. Nigga look white, bro. He probably is white. Okay, he was 12 and 4. Well, my mom is white, bro. How about Are you that? playing games, man? All right, all right, look. Mom, I'm going to read Hebrews 12 and 4. My grandfather is white. Hebrew, it doesn't matter what your mother is, okay? Well, you're, you're the seed doesn't come from your mother. My mom can't go to heaven, bro. Bro, all right, look. Hebrews 12 and 4. Ye have not yet resisted, sorry, yeah, resisted unto blood, striving what? against sin. Ye have, ye have not resisted unto blood, striving against sin. So I was saying. Before sure. you start saying something about another man, what that man needs to do, you need to resist temptation under bloodshed. Like I currently am, bro. They threatened to kill. They tried to kill me like four times. Who? Nigga, the government. Brother, I, I'm, I'm really gonna hope for the best for you, man. For real. You think I'm lying? Bro? Hey, check this out, man. I, I know a lot of brothers that say they've been getting uh, persecuted by the government, man. What you need to do is keep the commandments, so you'll be spotless. You know, Muslims are being. I don't know anything about Muslims. You know, Muslims okay? are being uh, persecuted by the I'm, government. I'm not worried about Muslims right now. I'm out here for the elect okay, of the nation of Israel. Why are you being persecuted by the government? I'm worried about the elect of the nation of Israel. You're not doing nothing. Sure, whatever you say, man. Because but again, I just read the verse. It just said, "You have not been persecuted. You have not but, resisted sin unto bloodshed." Who's trying to uh, persecute you right now? The fucking FBI. Okay, where they at? When I go to sleep, they take my sperm. Bro, my all right, that's enough. That's enough. We ain't dealing with that. Look, cut this out. This is Isaiah 58 and 1. 
cry aloud, spare not. Lift up thy voice like a trumpet and shew my people their transgression. In the house of Jacob, their sins. That's what the Most High God told Isaiah to do. That's what I'm going to do. If you don't like it, it is what it is. You can be up, up, up the block if you want them, to, bro. Can you tell, I, them, I can don't, you tell the look. Israelites their sins that they need to make sure black people have money and fulfill the law of Moses? There shall be no poor amongst them. Can we read that verse? Yeah, sure, we can read that Let's verse. Let's read the but uncomfortable uh, commandments that we don't want to keep that we don't keep. What are you talking keep? about, bro? Understand this. There are simple commandments that you can keep, all right? And if you don't like it, man, then it is what it is. But you're talking about the Egyptians, Christ getting his laws from Moses, or Christ getting his laws from Egypt and whatnot. The feast days, which are commanded. Yeah, what's up? But how what's come y'all don't want to keep Deuteronomy? Bro, no, look. I'm seven. done with this conversation, all right? You're doing too much. I already told you, it's keep the, the commandments, verse. keep the faith in your house shot. That's are it. You keep you're talking about Deuteronomy 15 and 7, I'll leave. Pull it out. Go ahead. You read it, bro. No, I'm you read it. Man, it is what it is, bro. Just read it for me. You got you the sword, man. About to your phone, yo, your phone is gonna be okay. Just read it; it's right in front of you. Fifteen and seven, please. Okay, just read it. You can't read it. I want to hear it. Out there. I want to read it. I want to hear you read it. This is a, this is a phone. This is not a book. Can That's you read? Fun. You can read, brother. Okay, just go ahead and read it. Fifteen and seven, bro. I know. I'm waiting on you. Me fifteen and seven. I'm about to move on, man. You playing too many no, games, bro. No, this is good. This no, is good. This is good for your audience, man. Bro, hey, hey, we're not here for a joke. It's not a show. You understand that? I'm out here trying to edify the elect. Said, Brother, you're, you're talking all this. Yo, why don't you just read it? You just said you're going to show the people their sins, which means they have to read Yeah, I'm going to show you a sin right now, man. All right. Deuteronomy 15 and 7. No, I got something else for you, man. Be careful. All right. Let's go to something very basic, man. This is uh, uh, Exodus chapter 20 and verse 8. All right. You're familiar with the laws, right? Read Remember the Sabbath day to keep it holy. Are you keeping the Sabbath right now? All right, bro. Check this out. When they picked up sticks, what happened to him? He got put to death. When Christ was picking corn. Well, what happened to him? Nothing happened to him. All right, bro. That's enough. It said now it's let's okay to read Deuteronomy 15 and 7. All right, man. Deuteronomy 15 and 7. That's let's enough. go to it. Let's go to it. After that, after this. I'm about to go straight into a sharp rebuke, man. And I hope you stick around. I hope you stick around, brother. Okay? Yeah. He said, do not 15 and what? Seven. If there be any among you a poor man of one of the brethren within any of thy gates in thy land, which Yahweh thy God giveth thee, thou shalt not harden thine heart, nor shut thine hand from thy poor brother. Check this out. That's a beautiful law. Didn't you say these laws are made in vain? Okay, well, so, so what's your point? Christ so you said, keep on cutting yourself, man. Christ said hey, the law reject, was made in vain. Whenever, Christ said that. Whenever you reject the law, you reject every single commandment. The ones that are for you, the ones that are against you. You understand that? So what? So that's what you do whenever you're against the Most High God. Now what you need to do is repent and keep the commandments instead of being a hypocrite. You understand that? So what? Brother, you're a hypocrite, man. Look, check this out. How do you explain so you can find out, you've asked too many questions right now. What you need to do is and they get humble stoned. down. Let me, uh, forget that, bro. Christ goes and gets warned. Too much. Too much. Why were they getting the sticks, bro? Too much. Because they was trying to be warm, dude. They was trying to work. This is Psalm. Christ went and picked Chapter warm, 137 bro. and verse 6. I'm ignoring you now, man. Listen. Remember, O Yahweh, the children of Edom in the day of Jerusalem, who said, raise it, raise it, even to the foundation thereof. O daughter of Babylon, and who's the daughter of Babylon? So-called white man, the United States of America, specifically. O daughter of Babylon, who ought to be destroyed. Happy shall he be that rewardeth thee as thou hast served us. Well, you were, were Happy, rather spend I'm gonna keep time on reading. Talking. Happy shall he be that taketh and dasheth thy little ones against the stones. And the Most High God's people are going to be dashing the little ones of the Edomites against the stones, whether you like it or Can not. Can you show if me you know a verse where Christ was saying all that shit? Saying all that? Yeah, sure. Show me a you verse. You keep on saying Christ shit. You need to watch your mouth, bro. Show me you need to watch your mouth. You can't be just running your mouth talking crazy about the Lord. This is Revelation 2 and verse 26. 
and he that overcometh and keepeth my works unto the end. What are the works? The commandments. And he that overcometh and keepeth my works unto the end, to him will I give power over the nations, and he shall rule them with a rod of iron, as the vessels of a potter shall they be broken to shivers, even as I received of my father. Read That's what the nations are going to be given. They're going to be broken like a pot, don't, destroyed. Don't, That's what's going to happen. Write a letter. Don't be getting on the Edomites. What? Because I was just doing this shit over there with fringes on and everything. Where are your fringes at? Brother, you're lying, brother. Why do you keep on lying to me? Why do you keep on asking me these crazy I questions? You want to see my YouTube videos. You said over there. Brother, where are your fringes at now? That was like two years ago. Brother, you're doing too much, like man. five years ago. So you... Uh, like wow, that's like crazy. Five years ago. So you like, took your hand off the plow. You quit. Is that what you're telling me? You quit. You quit. Am and I that's why you, you're looking talking where you are now. Yo, check this out, man. What? Am I talking to you? Son, bro, you took your hand off the plow. You stopped. You turned away from the work of the Lord. You shirked out the commandments. Down, you did the wrong thing. Remember, the meek shall inherit the Understand earth. this. What you need to do is beg for mercy Moses and try to come back to the Most High God. Because you had the ch you had a chance Therefore, to stay in the good light with the Most High. But you said no. That's what you did. One more time. What? Moses was the most meek. He was lower than his brother. And, and then? Therefore, and then what happened? he was exalted okay. above his brother. So we should be meek and listen to one another. Yes, you should listen instead of running your mouth and saying that you, you went to Egypt and got his commandments. That'll save your damn life. What? I might have something that could save your life. So instead this of is going to save your life. To but you me. said no. Yes, I'm rebuking you right now. The most High God said to rebuke you. What is you wrong with you, to man? listen, bro, to what I bro, have to say. Bro, no, no, I don't. No, I don't. I need to listen to what the most High has to say, okay? Who are you? Who are you? I want to know who you, you are. You, bro, check this I out. You said it be it me. Who are you? To come out here solo, went mad deep, yeah. tall as shit, bro. They bro, already you're doing got too much, man. You're doing way too much. Look. So we don't want to give them nothing. Bro, come on. We're, we're taking a couple steps back, man. Right. Them, I'm gonna go to Isaiah 66, okay? Because I've heard you this entire We're time. Not listening, bro. And well, I've heard you this entire bro. time. I'm gonna go to Isaiah 66. What? You hear me? You're not listening to But what does listening mean? Listening means shut the fuck up. That means oh really? You use both your ears, bro. You got two ears, one mouth. Alright, go ahead. Whatever you need to say, go ahead and say. Go ahead and say. Alright, bro, look. I was over there yelling, talking about white people going into slavery, white people about to die, all this shit. Very hateful. And I was doing that shit because I was monkey see monkey. Like a lot of us. Now, you said you read the whole Bible. I hadn't read the whole Bible, so I commend you for that. I read the Bible when I was in the county. And there was a lot of verses that I didn't even know was there. So I'm telling you, bro. Hey, real quick, brother, real quick. I'm sorry, real quick, real quick. If I come off like an asshole, are if I come listening off a to us. Sure, go ahead. And they'll put you on a terrorist list. Do you know about the Georgia law? I don't care about any of that. So, I care about the law of the Most High. His Go lights ahead. are on the hate groups. Sure. Muslims are on hate groups. Sure. They have a system. Do you see my own? Yeah. What is the RFID? The RFID microchip? What is it? It's exactly what you said. It's the RFID microchip. It goes into your hand. It's an implant. Is it, what is it? What? What is it? It's the mark of the beast. If you was an IUIC, you probably wouldn't know that. I have the mark of the beast, okay? Yeah, the mark of the, all right, then you just need to get the hell away from me, okay? Now, listen, though. Now, what? you get the implant because you cut yourself by accident. And I'm going to tell you, don't cut yourself. Because you cut yourself by accident? Yeah. You, if you get the implant because you cut yourself by accident, is that what you're saying? That's what happened to me. You got the implant on accident, is that what you're saying? I cut myself. I went to the hospital. I went to the ambulance. I called 911. The ambulance took me to the hospital. They chipped me. They ruined Bruh. my life. They took, I don't have a right to work. They raped me in my ass and they be stealing my sperm because I was an Israelite. Well, I'm not going to shame you like this, man. I 